current version of the SAT will only be administered four more times in October, November, December, and January. The final SAT prep workshop for these states begin on October 13th for English and October 15th for math. For more information regarding dates, times, and costs, please see Mr. Becker in room 922, Mr. Taster in room 810, Mrs. Underwood in the College and Career Center, or visit www.granitebaytestprep.com. This workshop sold out last year, so if you are considering registering, do so early to guarantee your space. Come to the large gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7.30 p.m. for Girls Basketball Open Gym, today and Thursday. In honor of Granite Bay High School's 20th anniversary, we are putting on a homecoming parade on Wellington Way on October 23rd from 4 to 4.30 p.m. This is a community event, so please feel free to invite your friends and family. Please take note that all cars must be moved off of Wellington Way by 3 p.m. on this date. The National Honor Society is accepting entry forms for their annual Paint a Pillar contest. You may have noticed the pillars in the breezeway with designs that represent the theme of ripple effect. You can submit your own artistic design for the next two pillars. Entry forms are available in room 821 and are, and are due October 26th. Juniors, there is a mandatory junior advising session Wednesday, October 21st in the GBHS Theater at 7.30 a.m. to 8.35. This meeting will be covering graduation status, preparing for college admissions, college search information, and college athletics. If you have lost something, please come look in the bins outside of the student services window to claim your items. All items not claimed will be donated very soon. Good morning, Granite Bay. I'm Chris Hurley, here to catch you up on last week's scores. And I'm Jaden Troxell, giving you the inside scoop on upcoming sports. First up, last Thursday, girls volleyball lost to Oak Ridge 3-0, and on Friday, our football team played Oak Ridge and lost 36-28. Also last Friday, boys varsity soccer played Del Oro and came out victorious by a score of 2-1. Now here's Jaden for this week's games. In upcoming sports today, girls golf plays at Wood Creek and girls and boys water polo plays at Rockland. Girls tennis plays at Folsom at 3.30, then at 6, girls volleyball plays at Nevada Union. And finally, at 7 tonight, boys soccer plays at Folsom. Tomorrow, girls water polo plays at McClatchy. Thanks, Jaden. Good luck to all our sports teams and thank you for watching. Have a great day, Granite Bay. No need to interrupt class or wonder when, where, or if your special excuse will arrive. If you have a pre-scheduled doctor, dental appointment, or if you're leaving out of town early, bring a signed note from your parent to the attendance window before school, between classes, or during lunch to receive your special excuse. The GBHS Counseling Department is excited to announce that we have an official Granite Bay Twitter account at GBHS Counseling. We encourage both students and parents to follow so that you can keep up with all that's going on at GBHS Counseling World and beyond. 
reminders, and up-to-date, valuable, relevant, and interesting information are available at your fingertips. Seniors can now start applying for admission for Fall 2016. The online admission application can be found at the following URL. New students will be available to start registering for classes starting April 26, 2016. Classes themselves begin on August 22, 2015. Sierra College will once again be hosting a series of its popular parent information nights at the Rockland campus during Fall 2015. The session takes place from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. All the seminars will be, able, will be held in the D Building, Room 12 at Sierra College on the following dates, October 14th, 28th, November 18th, December 2nd, and December 16th. RJ UHSD will be hosting the Military Academy Night at Roseville High School on Wednesday, October 21st at 6 p.m. Representatives from the five military academies and Congressman McClintock's office will be representing an evening of information and answering your specific questions regarding the various military academies. For more information, see Mrs. Underwood in the College and Career Center. Have you ever wondered if the TV shows featuring the FBI are realistic? If you are a high school junior and want to find out these answers, you can at the Fall 2015 Sacramento FBI Teen Academy. You will need to go to the following website and apply. Deadline to apply is October 23rd, 2015. Seniors planning on attending college in the fall 2016 with strong academic merit, leadership, and community service will be eligible to apply. Applications by December 4th, 2015 to the local Roseville Elks Dodge at 3000 Brady Lane, Roseville, California, 95678 or visit www.elkins.org enf scholars. I hope you guys enjoyed your Tuesday Bulletin. I'm Sean Shaw. And I'm Connor Halloran. that Grizzly Pride is um, the idea that it's not what kind of um, uh, player you are, it's the kind of person that you are. Um, and we just ask our players to go out every day uh, in the classroom and on the football field and just be good people, do the right things, um, be leaders in the classrooms, be leaders out uh, at lunch and in the community, um, and then come on to the football field and, and just work hard, do the right things. You know, we live in a great community. We have a great school. There's so many great programs here. Uh, I think it's just the idea and the way we've kind of looked at it with through the eyes of a football team or a football coach is to say, you know, do the right things on the field. Prepare yourself for the games. Be mentally tough. Be physically tough. Um, but all of those things can apply to regular life and to school life, we feel. Uh, so just the idea of, of coming to school every day with the mindset that you're going to be the best student that you can be. Um, and then when you have a chance to be around your friend or in social situations, do the right things. Be a good person. Um, don't worry about what's cool or uncool. Just do what is right. Do it as you. Um, and if you do that, then you'll feel good about your performance. We say that in football. Uh, in school, if you're a good person, then you feel good about yourself and others feel good about, feel good about you and then the overall culture is better. That's always given us that edge. That Grizzly pride has given us an edge over the majority of teams that we play. Um, and it's a special thing. It's something that you'll remember for the rest of your life when you're a part of it.